Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another presentation, and this presentation is a potato salad, an old-fashioned potato salad, how to make one. It's so easy and so simple. All you do is follow my steps, and you'll come up with this wonderful, beautiful potato salad. Look at it, y'all. It is so delicious. It's full of eggs. I love a lot of eggs in my potato salad. I like for my potato salad to taste uh, real, real, like zesty. When you eat it, it tastes so good. You keep digging in it and eating it. I love potato salad like this. And this is it right here, y'all. This is Sandra. I want to tell you happy eating after this presentation. Show you how to do this potato salad. And if you don't get the directions straight, go to soulfoodqueen.net and I'll show you how to do my recipe. This is Sandra. Happy eating. And after this presentation, I'll show you how to do this magnificent but never some potato salad. It's easy, y'all. Hi, this is Sandra. I'm here again with another recipe. One of my subscribers asked me to do a potato salad. I have a potato salad on my YouTube channel, but it's an old one. <laughs> so I need to make a new one to update it because it was shaky and I was brand new and still brand new and doing things. I'm not up to par doing a lot of good videos but I try to do videos that you can be able to cook and learn how to do some of the things that I'm trying to teach you how to do because some people need help in learning how to cook so I like to call my channel a home cooking channel where you see the regular products instead of just having them in a bowl and no name but you can tell what it is but I like to say if you use an onion I like to show you the onion package you know so this is a, a regular potato salad, and in this in this uh, video, I'm going to show you how to do the potato salad. But you got to have the potato salad like this. I'm going to use three medium-sized potatoes and six eggs. Now sometimes I'm going to use all of the uh, potatoes, so I just use them sometimes, like put a little butter on them and put them in the side, eat them with something else. But you need to boil your potatoes whole. When you boil your potatoes whole, they come out more flavorful like a potato instead of you boiling them in the pan without the skin. So the skin has a part of making the potatoes taste just like a good potato. Now these are Russian potatoes. So what I'm going to do is peel them off. Now they're still hot. I'm going to peel it off, but make sure you wash the skin real good under warm water and make sure that they are clean. Because what I do, when I peel the skin off, they are still a little hot. But what I do, I add a little margarine to them to make them more flavorful and not so dry. Now, in my potato salad, I use uh, onions and bell peppers. But I use, use red bell pepper. And I usually use dry onion. Because dried onions do not make a wet potato salad. Like if you make a potato salad for today and you want it tomorrow, sometimes it could be a little juicy with water. So therefore, I use it, if I use onion, don't have any dry um, onions left over, I will put them, uh, the onions and the bell pepper in the microwave and take some of the moisture out. You know, take some of the moisture out so it won't be so uh, either too eager to be wet. Okay, in my potato salad, I like to put mayonnaise, and uh, Duke mayonnaise is good, and I like the uh, Hellsmans as well, and the blue uh, plate. Either or, those are three good mayonnaise that you can use. And I like to put black pepper and salt, black pepper and salt. I like to put a little rosemary sometimes, depends on what kind of mood I'm in, I'll do that. But I put pecorica and parsley. And I usually use those Gitcha pickles, the ones that's sweet. But you can use the sweet reddish. You can use that. But what I use to do is squeeze some of the moisture out of the uh, reddish. I just get the paper towel and squeeze it until it's dry. And I add it to my potato salad. And then, of course, I use uh, mustard. I love mustard in a potato salad. And this is all you need. So what I'm going to do now is take all the skin off of the potatoes. And they're still still warm, but we make sure they are cold. And the eggs, make sure they are cold as well. So I already pre-boiled the eggs, and they're ready to go in the potato salad. So when we get through with this, we're going to show you how it look when I take the skin off the potatoes. Okay, you can see that I took uh, the skin off of the potatoes.
So what I'm going to do is add a little margarine, just a little margarine, and just put it in there just like this. As the potatoes cool, the margarine. Now, I'm not going to mash them up too good. I'm just going to make sure that the margarine is in there with the potatoes, just like this so the potatoes can cool. Because I don't like a potato salad that's not hunky. I like a hunky potato salad. <laughs> so what we're going to do is let this cool with just a little margarine, just a little margarine, not a whole lot. Just to let it cool, and then we'll be right back, and we'll do the rest of the potatoes, uh, the potato salad. So right now, I just used two medium potatoes, because I like a lot of eggs in my potato salad, y'all. Yeah, I will put five eggs in this, y'all. <laughs> okay, so we're going to come right back and let you see what it looked like, and shortly we're going to show you what we do next. All right, the potatoes are cool. I put a little margarine. Uh, you can put a little butter in the hot potatoes when they cool. It's something about the uh, margarine or the butter give it a little uh, shine, I think. I'm not sure, but it makes it taste good. I do it all the time. And like I said, I give you the secrets that I do. And that, you know, some people don't do that, but it's fine. But you can and you don't have to. So what I'm going to do is add the onions and the pimentos. Like I said, I dry them out a little bit in the microwave. You can use them raw. You can use any 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 um, bell pepper that you want to put in here. You can do it. You can use green, the red, or the yellow, whatever you prefer. You can use that. But I'm just using the red. I like the red in mine. Okay, now I squares. The rest of the uh, liquid out of the pickle radish. See how dry that is? So it won't be so watery. Now you can use the pickles, uh, sweet pickles. That is wonderful. You can use those and cut them up real fine. But I don't have any. I ran out, so I have to use those. Okay, now what I'm going to do now is add the mayonnaise. The mayonnaise, I have just a little left. So I'm just going to put about a tablespoon, well, a heaping tablespoon full. Just like that. Maybe a little bit more. Just like that. And then I'm going to add some onion powder. Just a little onion powder. Just a little. Just like that. Just a little onion powder. Now, a lot of people use different uh, herbs in there. Now, I like to use um, rosemary, but I'm not going to put any rosemary in this here. I'm going to squeeze the water out of the mustard and get about that much mustard in there. Then I'm going to add the salt. Easy, easy, easy. I'm going to add the black pepper. Add a little parsley flakes. Just a little parsley flakes. Just a little. Just a little like that. And then we're going to cut the eggs up. Now, I like crushed red pepper in mine. Now, you don't have to put that in yours, but I put it in mine. Because I like a little spicy in mine. Just a little. Now, you don't have to do it with your... <laughs> I tell y'all, you don't have to do it, but I do it. Now, I'm going to put the egg. I chop my egg up in my hand just like this. And I chop chop it in hunks. I like my potato salad to have hunks in there. The potato salad is not a potato salad unless it have a lot of eggs in there. To me now y'all, to me, that's what I like. A lot of eggs in my potato salad. Because it's not a salad. It ain't got no lot of eggs in it y'all. Do it like that. I chop it like this. Yeah, just like this y'all. And make sure it's hunky. I'm going to use one more. I love eggs in mine. So we'll do it like this. And there you go. Okay. Got one left. Drop one. So we're going to flip this like this. Just like this, y'all. Just like that. We don't want to mash the potatoes too mashed up. We want them to be hunky-like, you know? 
See how pretty that is with the mustard and the little uh, red uh, with the red bell pepper. It look good. Okay, then we need to get a little sugar. Now, if you want it dry like this, it can stay like this. But if you want a little bit more mayonnaise, you put a little bit more mayonnaise in it, just a little bit more, maybe that much, and then you're gonna put some more little mustard in there, just a little. A little bit more mustard. And we're going to turn it like this. Now we're going to add a little sugar in this. Just a little sugar, not a lot, but just a little. And we've got it just where we want it. And a little sugar be right back. If I got the sugar, let me go over here and get it, y'all. Okay, we're going to add the sugar, just like this. And you put as much sugar you want in it. It's your preference. You just want a little mild taste of sugar to a little mild taste of sugar, and that's it. And this is it, y'all. This is a potato salad right here. Now I'm going to taste it. You see the eggs like that? I like mine with eggs on it like that. Oh, yes, I do. Taste it. It is good, y'all. <laughs> it is good. It is delicious. Now that's an easy potato salad. Now, you could put more mayonnaise in it, more black pepper, salt, whatever you want, you can put it in here now. Right now, this potato salad is perfect. I like potato salads like that, y'all. I don't like a potato salad to be all running and like, like mashed potatoes. So we're not finished with it yet. We'll be right back. All right. What we're going to do is transfer this potato salad to another bowl. This is the bowl that we're going to keep it in. We just serve, we just did it in a serving bowl. Now, like I said, if you want to put more mayonnaise and more mustard, you can do that. But this is perfectly fine with me, the way I have mine. And I'm going to mash it down. Now, like I said, you could do what you want. Now, don't those um, bell peppers look good? Ooh, they look good. They look really good. Okay, now. We're going to slice the egg. I have one egg. I dropped one egg on the floor. Here it is right here. I dropped it on the floor, so I'm going to throw it away later. Okay, so I'm going to add this egg. I slice it in slices, just like this. And I'm going to place it like this in the middle of the potato salad. So in the middle. And then I'm going to use some parsley to decorate it with. Just like that. Easy potato salad. It's so easy. And then I'm going to use some peppuccino. A lot of people think I use it too much, but hey, love it stuff. Okay, just a little of that. And then some pecorica. Just a little on top and that's it that's your potato salad put it in the refrigerator and let it get cold until you get ready to serve it and here it is right here y'all I did this potato salad so you know how to do it I got a little left on the spoon I'm going to taste it see what it tastes like <laughs> it tastes like Spring, summer, going to the fall, and take this out. I'm glad you came to my channel today. And I like to thank my new subscribers and my old subscribers as well. I have some beautiful, beautiful old subscribers. And I've been with them a long time. And they are wonderful. Great content. Great people. I know I'm some by name. They know me by name. And we just have a great time. Mr. Sandra, I want to tell you happy eating. And get this recipe off of soulfoodqueen.net that you can find how to do an easy potato salad. It was so easy to do this potato salad. And I know y'all can do it too. Mr. Sandra, I want to say happy eating and thank you for coming to my channel.